CBS presents this program in color. Deja vu. Twenty-five years ago, I was standing here where I'm standing now. Twenty-five years ago, wondering what to say. Twenty-five years ago, I was waiting here as I'm waiting now for the first Q&A. That's questions and answers. If you have any questions at all you'd like to ask, don't hesitate to, uh, ask. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? What if nobody asks a question? Or worse, what if somebody does? <laughs> Twenty-five years ago, I was trying hard. Was I trying hard? Huh? Twenty-five years ago, I was petrified. Twenty-five years ago, I was laughing loud. Was I laughing loud? I was dying inside. I get nervous when we have to do... No. <laughs> I stood thinking I was alone, alone. I was surrounded by cameras and crew and singers and dancers and orchestra and Harvey and Vicky and Lyle and Tim. No, 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 Conway came later. But ahead were 11 incredible seasons. But at that moment, who knew? Twenty-five years ago, wondering what to say. Twenty-five years ago, I was waiting then, as I'm waiting now for the first Q&A. Twenty-five years ago. No. Can <laughs> <laughs> we turn up the lights so we can talk to the audience? Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get to the ladies' room. How do how do you get to the ladies' room? You have to go.
personal. <laughs> what, what do you use? They have vinyl cleaner. Vinyl cleaner? Do you want to tell the lady what it is? Do you have a vinyl floor at home you want to clean? Is that it? Yeah. Where is it? In the bathroom or the kitchen? All over. You have vinyl all over your house. Just on the floor. Uh, just on... like to read? All right, why don't you stand up and read it? What's your name? Danny Kruger. Hi, Danny. Hi. I'm in love with a wonderful girl, but there's a catch old brother. The girl I love, this glorious girl, is old enough to be my mother. <laughs> Sit down, Danny. Remember your first kiss? My first kiss, yes, I do. Did you like it? Well, it was from a dog. <laughs> Are you going to be on next season? Uh, yes, unless you, um, yes, unless, uh, unless you know something I don't. Earlier or later or what? What, dear? Sometimes I fall asleep like I'm on Sometimes you fall asleep during our show. Is this a repeat show? Is this a repeat show? No, no. You still get stage fright before you come out on stage. Once in a while, and then when I do, my hair gets just like yours. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Do you think you'd like to live in Washington, D.C.? Now, just between us, and I don't want to make anyone mad, and I know this show doesn't stop at the California borders, but I can't... <laughs> I, I can't not. understand anyone who'd want to live any place but in California. <laughs> for the little lady from New York. <laughs> you want to sing, too? Oh, come on. <laughs> What's your name? Terry McCann. Terry, what do you want to sing? You made me love you in the key of G. <laughs> Exactly 15 years ago tonight, 
Yes. I raised my hand and asked you for a kiss. Fifteen years ago tonight, you raised your hand and asked me for a kiss. And I kissed Well, it's up. about time I gave it to you. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> How are you? I'm nervous. <laughs> What's your name? Carrie. Carrie? Mm-hmm. 14. Have you really ever seriously thought in terms of an older woman? <laughs> Don't be afraid. <laughs> I'll be gentle. <laughs> Carol Burnett Show, sponsored by... When most families hold a reunion, the first thing that comes out is the family album, and our family album contains 11 years of a, lo a lot of laughs and joy and tears and wonderful moments, and the pictures actually move. We'll be sharing some of them with you tonight, starting with our eldest. You're expecting maybe Tinkle Bell. Do you believe that nonsense, do you? Man turning into beast? Don't you know there's no such things as werewolves? Bunny, beast, Bobby. Becky. I know that my memory is coming back. Hello, Anderson Residence. Hello. Hello. Oh, foolish me. Hello. Oh, my darling, come into my arms. Together at last. Boom. Okay, here are a few slices of Conway's genius. I can see, I can see. I'm sorry, sir. The baby in the family always got a lot of attention, and the baby certainly deserved it. She's a little nervous because she's never had to come out just so she doesn't know what she's going to say or anything. 
Do you have any... Your hands are ice cold. Uh, do you have any questions you'd like to ask Vicky? Oh, no. Hello, boy, there. How old are you? I don't know. <laughs> I'm a big Hollywood star. Do you hear me? A big Hollywood star. And I will not have you treating me like an extra. I've worked a long time to get where I am. And I will never be humiliated like this again. Never, never, never. Twin sons. One son is a verbal, the other son is a lead singer in a rock group. When the moon is full, you couldn't tell them apart. Go raise children. Judith, for crying out loud, wake up and smell the coffee. <laughs> Boy, you know, can you imagine of all of us, who would ever think that she'd be the only one who's still working? <laughs> I was sucking up to the wrong person. I know. Time. And as you can see, we are both still natural redheads. <laughs> well, you know, one thing every family had, right? The golden boy, perfect face, perfect teeth, perfect body. Lyle Waggy. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Get him out of here. Right. Oh, there you are. <laughs> the world is waiting to hear Mark. Off. Well, let's see now. Uh, this all right? Oh, <laughs> God. all together reminds me of the first time we all got together. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. uh, I wasn't there. Well, oh, yeah. 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 I was very young. I don't remember any of this. Oh, oh shut, shut up. up. <laughs> you remember what I said to you, Harvey? The very first day, just as we were walking into the very first rehearsal. I remember your words exactly. You said, I don't care what happens to the show. I just want all of us to be kind and gentle to each other. You pushing me around the way you do. You're fired. No, out of my way. No, you haven't. You sleazy, greasy person. <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you.
grew up right here in Hollywood, and I was raised by my grandmother in a little apartment just one block north of Hollywood Boulevard. And one of the things she and I used to share was a love of the movies. And it wasn't unusual for Nanny and me to hit Hollywood Boulevard and see maybe six or seven shows a week. So my love affair with the movies started at a very early age. Maybe that's why we did so many movie takeoffs. <laughs> Laura Desmond, the greatest silent film star of them all. <laughs> Max? Yes, madam. Is there someone there? Yes, madam. Good. I have you and you have me. I have a wonderful job. We have all the money in the world. From now on, our future is going to be unlimited joy and happiness. <laughs> uh uh. It's nothing, Ollie. Let's not take any chances. No, no, no. no it's, it's nothing. No, darling, please. No, it's nothing, really. <laughs> Oh, darling, please, don't worry. I'll get you the finest doctor that money can buy. Hello. Who are you? I'm the finest doctor money can buy. <laughs> How did you know she was sick? I heard the music. <laughs> what is it, Doc? I'm afraid she only has five minutes to live. Oh, no. Hey, funny face. <laughs> The doctor says you're going to be all right. There's nothing wrong. Uh, How about that? Hey, how'd you like something to eat? I'd love a four-minute egg. <laughs> You'd be so easy to love, so easy to love. Baby, now that we found each other, nothing can come between us. Oh. Give it up. Give it up, Really, Bridget, please, please, take no, me No, you home. can't leave me. No. You can't. No. Just, no. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh.
I'm thirsty. Oh, gee, I sure hope there's some milk in the fridge. I'll just go see. <laughs> When I was just <laughs> I asked my mother What would I be? Would I be pretty? Would I be rich? Here's what she said to me Started at home. I really like what you've done with the place. So, how are you, Captain Butler? How am I? You ask that of a man who just returned from battle? Who returned from seeing brother pitted against brother? From seeing the world that he loved crumble beneath his feet? Do you ask, how are you? How are you? All pretty good, thanks, and you? I love you. That, that, that gown is gorgeous. Thank you. I saw it in the window and I just couldn't resist it. just reminiscing yeah. here uh, you see when we did the uh, the regular show uh we come in every day you know uh, to rehearse and then we play catch up now the five of us <laughs> yeah have great memories of those days but our sixth regular the sixth regular member of our cast was always our studio audience so let's bump up the lights and uh yes how did you get started in show business? Well, well, uh, well, uh, well, it all started in Chicago about 65 years ago. Director in Cleveland, actually. Yeah. I started out as a kid. We should all and, uh, say, yeah, I was actually, I was always interested in the Any other? Yes, up in the back there. I was just wondering, is this... Have you all kept in close contact since you've gone off the air, or is this the first time you've seen each other since then? Have we kept in close contact, or is this we the heard, first time? We heard, we heard. <laughs> going to put it on 
six. He had it on four. He'll be all right. <laughs> All right, yes, he's, he's ready now. Uh, actually, I've been here since the show went off. Uh, I come in and do a show uh, usually every Friday. Uh, they haven't taped them, but I've been here. I don't know what you guys have been doing. Yes, yes. One of the, uh, the classic trademarks of the show that I used to enjoy is watching Harvey bust up during a lot of the skits. Harvey mess up? No. Bust up. Bust up. Bust up. Well, I also up. mess, too. Yes. We used to, back in the green room, we used to take a pool. We would have a pool, and we'd all put in a dollar, not as to whether or not Harvey was going to break up, but how far into the sketch it would take before Tim would get him. I, I drunk it! It's not working. I need oxygen. I need oxygen. Mm -hmm. Hurry. Mouth-to-mouth mm. -mouth resuscitation. It's the only way. Hurry. <laughs> oh, Alrighty. Huh. Can't just jump into something like this. Don't jump in. I didn't really know you. <laughs> Sorry. I got your lips and all at once and once. I know I must surrender to your kiss of fire. Sorry. 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 from I had uh, I had a little more discipline than Harvey with Conway but you two guys were amazing yeah he got to me during that uh, Hitler sketch <laughs> yeah but you held out a uh, tried to last time. yeah but there is a, a limit you know yeah, well, we and never I knew what the, the thing is we never knew what Conway was gonna do you haven't given us information so the fewer has been very angry. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't take a personal interest in this case. Tell you anything, I don't have to tell you anything at all. What do you think? Is it in the test anything? <laughs> well, you try and get that information from him in a hurry. Hey! Do you have that information? No. What do you think? She just said no. Okay. This is gonna be rough stuff. <laughs> He's going to hit you with that club. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Maybe if you make him feel at home, you sing me a song. Okay, sit it.
that to a lot of times. And Carol, I loved it when you used to break up during your death scenes. Before I go, one last kiss. Sure, fella. Not you, him. <laughs> She's gone yet. <laughs> She's gone. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> Just a minute ago, she was with us singing and laughing. She's still laughing. <laughs> But now she's gone. <laughs> There's a... Oh, go, go ahead. Lyle, did you find somebody? Well, jumping right, right here, right, right over there. there. Yes. Right One here. of the things I always wondered about is what exactly happened in the dentist's office between Tim Conway and Harvey Lyle? No, no. <laughs> you tell you, what do you remember, Tim? I, um... I had a dentist in the valley who, uh, who went to dental school and they, they would practice on patients there. And he was telling me about a time when he was practicing on a patient and he went to give the patient Novocaine and he went through the patient's cheek into his own thumb and paralyzed himself. And uh, out of that, uh, we did a little sketch called The Dentist. And to show you the discipline that Mr. Corman had, he did not laugh for, at all in that sketch. Yes, sir. Hold on a minute. Let's see how this works here. Okay, Novocaine. Here we are. Novocaine. Take a firm hold of the hypodermic needle. Right. <laughs> ah. oh. There'll be a little bit of pain, and then numbness will set in. I forced those breakups. They were not spontaneous breakups. Mm -hmm. It makes me so consummate in my art. I've never found the man that funny. But I knew the audience was expecting it, so I broke up. If you're so consummate, why don't you take a laxative? I never knew what he was going to say. 
got to do. But you got it. I, I did finally get Tim uh, when we were doing a, a family sketch, Eunice and Mama, and we were playing uh, Password. Right. You, the password was, I don't know what it was, stupid or something, and you did some stupid story hey. about the Siamese elephant. elephants that were joined at the trunk. trunk. <laughs> that we had never heard before. I, wow. was, I, I had lost it. Tim was on this whole elephant run. You were and... crying in my face. You were laughing so hard, there were tears, and you were going, go ahead, Bob. I'm looking at this woman falling yeah, apart in my face. There wasn't one part of me that was dry. <laughs> I was at this freak show one time, and I, I saw these Siamese elephants. They was adjoined at the end of their trunks like that. And this uh, trainer would make them stand up on their back feet like that, and they had their trunk stretched like that. Then this little monkey would come out. There and dance some merengue right out there. <laughs> kind of felt sorry for them. They couldn't go like the other elephants when they go. <laughs> All they could do is just blow and go. North. <laughs> One that sees the other's eyes get real big. Mama. You sure that little ass through you? We'll be right back. I'm all talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, back. Question for Harvey. <laughs> Oh, she wants you to do the turn. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> I don't usually do jungle creatures, but <laughs> would you like to hear my Peter Lorre? All right. Uh, <laughs> right, you really want to hear the real thing, don't you? <laughs> okay, Tim. <laughs> Okay, you gotta do it. Conway's strange little brain. Um, <laughs> we had a uh, secretary who um, uh, couldn't figure out how the intercom worked, so you would call her on the intercom and go, uh, Beverly, could you come down? She'd go, hello? And when you press <laughs> hello, obviously she couldn't hear you anymore, so you'd go, uh, Beverly, and you'd go, hello? <laughs> so you'd actually go all the way down the hall and have to talk to her, so uh, that kind of came from... Mrs. Huggins, could you come in here now? Hello? And then... <laughs> I'd like to dictate that letter now to you, Mr. Hello? <laughs> Come on, why didn't hear nothing? Hello? Good <laughs> 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 Uh, 
Dear Mr. Del Mar, uh, in the regard to your letter of the 25th, I feel uh, that a written... Uh, are you going to memorize this? Guess what you don't have. I'll go get the pad. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. Uh, uh, Mrs. Huygens, also, could you bring in that uh, Collier file, please? I wanted to compare those figures uh, with the, the Del Mar file. What? I said, that could you bring in the Collier file? I want to compare those figures in there with that project against the Del Mar project. We could have that in there. You bring that Mrs. Huygens? <laughs> Yes. Uh, <laughs> I want. I want to uh, have that the Collier file. It... <laughs> Just a minute. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> Mrs. Wiggins, can you hear me? Why, sure. I don't mean quite sure like that. I mean, uh, can you hear me on the top? See, maybe you didn't understand how this is a supposed to work. I'll explain this one more time to you. <laughs> I'm not going to explain this to you one more time that you watch real good here. Hello, Mrs. Wiggins. How you doing? I'm doing real good. The house is up. Not too bad, but my knee hurts. Well, why don't you go home and soak it? Well, I might do that later. Do you see how that works back and forth like that? All right, now, say something to me. Can you hear me? I remember I had the best job on the show because during question and answers almost every week some lady in the audience would ask me for a kiss. I get to come out and kiss all these people and I built up quite a reputation. I had a lot of exposure. Well, uh, pub publicity. Even today, I get recognized for that. I must sign 10, 15 autographs a day. Nobody asks for them, but I just like to keep practicing. Got a whole act here. <laughs> I didn't know you could do a sit down. <laughs> What's your most embarrassing moment that you can remember? Ooh, we our all most have embarrassing our... moments. Well, I had, what about the night that uh, Sir Lawrence Olivier was here for me and... Uh, he wasn't here for, for you. you. <laughs> I mean, for me, my most embarrassing oh, moment oh, was when Sir fine. Lawrence Olivier was That's here. He, you know what he did one time? Because we, we tried to do the show as a live show. And uh, sometimes we'd say, hurry up, make your change. Willie would always say, hurry up, hurry up. And Harvey uh, had uh, some breakaway, remember you had some breakaway pants on. Oh my, oh, and, Olivier. Uh, yeah, and uh, Sir Lawrence Olivier was in the audience that night. Lord Lar Larry oh, my was idol. in the audience that night. And Harvey had made a change real quickly. And uh, at one point, his pants were supposed to come off. He, you didn't put on the right shorts. Well. <laughs> I had my my uh, my jockey shorts on, which I wear in in, in life. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> but then I had to have boxer shorts on right, right. for the show, and I forgot to put the boxer shorts on. He, he flashed Lawrence Olivier. <laughs> I'll just put it in my pocket. Just keep away from me. Keep away from me. <laughs> Trouble here. <laughs> Put him to sleep as I recall. <laughs> yes, he did. He did drop off. He dropped right off. He, he that was mine. That was certainly mine. Yeah. You've had a lot of embarrassing moments on the show. Oh, yeah. This, With yeah. The, the horse was uh, the, uh, We did, um, the, I guess the funniest for me was when we were doing a takeoff on a Mickey and Judy movie, and uh, I was singing a, a, a song as, trying to sing a song as Judy Garland, and we had um, a live horse. <laughs> Who, um, well, I was singing it and, and, uh, oh, I know all the books that he studies for math. I know how he I also was peeing while you were singing. Moving right along. Are your kids here tonight? They My are. kids didn't make it tonight. They no. didn't make it tonight. No. Are your kids here? Got, well, Courtney's in. This entire audience is my oh, kids. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Courtney's, Courtney's in Stanford now. She is. She has a daughter in yeah. Stanford. Hey, hey you. Vic, what's new? <laughs> I'm engaged. <laughs> oh, come on, sit down. We all know Vicky is uh, Mrs. Al Schultz, and uh, <clears throat> I think she's expecting. I think my girls are here tonight. I uh, saw Aaron. Where's Aaron? Aaron, where are you? There you are. There's Aaron. And here's Aaron in the oven. Yes. Carol, we'd like to know what secret you use to develop your fabulous figure. <laughs> Conway? Uh, yes, I have, uh, what is it, 12 or 13 of them here, and then a Any few at home. I think so, yes. Where are where they? Are they? Are they? Where, where, where? They don't want to here. Yeah. <laughs> away we will be right back with oh, some more of the show. Um, over the years uh, we had some pretty fabulous guests 
and some pretty wonderful musical guests. And since it was my show, they had to sing with me. <laughs> that wonderful year we hope you'll see. Golden boy. The past reappear like a memory. We'll show you the way it used to be. Remember. Fancy flattery. You're laying it on for spite. You're big and strong. You figure you'll charge my battery, and I'll get too hot to fight. You're handsome. Now it's time you were took in tow. Yes, I know. That flattery stuff don't go. No. I'll follow you anywhere. <laughs> you may look at me, mama, I'm dancing. And I might some small pride over the wall. I'm certainly gonna tell them that I'm the man who was someday you'll be. Wait and see. They'll never believe me. It can't be true. They'll never believe me. Me and you. See what the boys in the back room will have and tell them I'm having the same. Go see what the boys in the back room will have. Give them the poison lady. Georgia. Yesterday. Georgia. All my troubles seem so far away. No peace I find. Nine looks at gold ahead of stay. Just an old sweet song. Oh, Keeps Georgia. I believe. What do you get when you need a guy? You get enough tears to fill an ocean. That's what you get for your devotion. I'll never fall in love again. I'll never fall in love again. A mutual admiration society I've seen each movie that you've made Remember every part you play I've watched your show since it began I'll bet that I'm your biggest fan You're what a star could qualify You're what the public really buys We could go on like this from now till dawn Carolyn, a trace in round this million Chicken coop. I bet they'd fight to put our name up in life. You could do Shakespeare, you'd look stunning and tight. Watch it. Come here, Mrs. Crazy Lane. So peanuts, so peanuts. Wake your legs, guy Jane. So peanuts, so peanuts. Down the baby game store. So peanuts, so peanuts. I've got something to die for. So peanuts. We go, peanuts. One, have two. Don't mind if I do have a few. I hope that's all peanuts. So peanuts, so peanuts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Santa Fe, I've been 
We witnessed some amazing transformations on this show, and yet to me the most remarkable makeover was accomplished by the lady sitting on my left. Vicki came to us fresh out of high school in our first year on the air, and we watched her grow with a genuine sense of pride, but nothing really prepared me for the first time we did the family sketch. Without a bit of makeup and just the aid of a padded costume and a gray wig and glasses, Vicky had become mama. <laughs> and Eunice had become nuts. She even went to a shrink. No. Lord, sometimes you, you talk just like mama. She gets me so nervous I can't even think. Just last night she got my goat again. Now, you know, you don't have to react, Eunice. Do you remember that little poem we learned? When, when confronted, confronted with, with a, a foe, foe Bless, Bless him, him, praise him, praise him let, let him go. go. I know, I know, I know. I don't like these funny moods I'm getting into. Well, well, all right, let, let's examine these moods. Let's put them on the table and see if they bounce. I don't want to put my moods on a table and see if they bounce. I know what my problem is. It's my mother. All right, all right, let's examine that. Oh, you... oh stop. You... <laughs> that you have dragged in here off of the streets. <laughs> Mama, this is Ed Higgins. You know, the young man I have been telling you about now for quite some time. We finally get the unveiling, huh? No wonder you've been keeping him under wraps. <laughs> what have you been doing with my little girl? Nothing, ma'am. Nothing. I Carl, you get on out here. Carl, do you hear me? Yes, damn it. The whole neighborhood can hear you. <laughs> well, get on out here as fast as you can. Just hold I am in the bathroom. Well, when the hell did you go in there? I don't know exactly when. You want me to punch a time clock every time I go to the bathroom? <laughs> Just hurry on out here, will ya? You just got that Ed Higgins out here. Believe it or not, he really exists, and he's worse than anything we dreamed of. <laughs> you have to fix this very second to drive me out of my mind. There is an emergency going on now. I will come out when I am damn good and ready. Now get out that door. I'll knock you through it. Now how much hell is a man supposed to take? <laughs> nice meeting you, Mrs. Harper. Tell Mr. Harper I'm sorry I'm... <laughs> sorry. I will never forgive you for this as long as I live. He was about to propose to me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, then he's even dumber than he looks. The boys are my responsibility. <laughs> And I have given up my life for those boys, Miss Collins. I want you to know that. I have given everything to those boys. I have been their mama, and I've been their papa. And I'm the only one who's ever around to give them any discipline. What the hell I'm supposed to do? Stay home 24 hours a day? Besides, I've walloped those kids many a time. That's your answer to everything, isn't it? A heck, a lot easier on them than my daddy was on me. I didn't enjoy those wallopings, but by golly, he made a man out of me. I think maybe he was a couple of wallopings short. You're really on thin ice, old woman. Oh, Alma. Now, looky here, Mama. You got two choices here. See, what you can do is use that double and you can move down here and you could land on an opponent, see? And when you land on that opponent, you pick up this little bell and you ring it and you say, sorry! <laughs> and then that opponent has to go right back to where he started, see? You pick up the bell and you go, sorry! Sorry! Because, Mama, there's a little yellow fella right here that's just dying to be landed on. Well, I think I'll just move this little blue fella who's saying, move me, I'm bored standing here. Not that bored as I am. how to play this game. It shows no mercy. It just jumps on you when it can get the chance. Oh, goody, I got a man out. Not anymore, you don't. sure didn't take advantage of landing on Ed, but you sure as shooting came after me when you could, didn't you? Slide. Oh, shut up! <laughs> oh, for Pete's sake, you need to cheer up. Mama. What are you doing, Mama? You're moving one to my yellow man. Well, excuse me. Where was he? Uh, was right here. No, he wasn't. He was there. He was right here. No, he was not. You're just trying to take advantage of your mother's stupid move just so as I can lose the game. And you are trying to cheat. I know where he was because I watched this board like a whole rat. Let's just move him back the number of spaces that I moved him for. She's right. How many spaces did you move it? Well, how the hell should I know? <laughs> you mean you don't remember how many spaces you moved that thing just a second ago? Well, I guess I'm just too stupid ever to grab the goddamn dice up the pan. <laughs> Why the hell am I supposed to know you were going to move the wrong all man? All right, all right, all right. Now, just stop it. I know what it was. It was a seven. Are you sure? It was a seven! <laughs> well, Eunice seems to be of the opinion that it was a seven. <laughs> so I will just move the yellow man back seven spaces, then I will move my blue man ahead seven spaces, Landing on your green man, sending him back to the Sorry! You see? Well, she's no picnic. <laughs> but neither are you, Eunice. Now, wait just a minute. She's the reason I keep having all these fits. She's the reason I can't Sit call. on it! Now listen, I have a news flash for you. 
It's not that old bag out there that you're having trouble with. It's Eunice. You are furious with Eunice because Eunice never finished anything that she started. It's time for you to take charge of your own life, Eunice. I could, I could if she'd just allow me to breathe once in a while, but Mama just won't. forget Mama. We don't care what Mama don't allow. We're going to take charge of our own life anyhow. <laughs> Work on your own self-esteem, all right? Listen, listen. Hey, I'm okay. Hey, I like me. What? You say it. Hey, I'm okay. Hey, I like me. I can't say that. <laughs> because I'm not okay. I never have liked me. Just say it. Say, I'm okay. Say it and it'll be true, I promise you, Eunice. I'm okay. Oh, louder. Come on. Say it like you really mean it. I'm okay. Say it again. I'm okay. I'm okay, and you're 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 okay, and Mama's okay. I'm okay, and you're okay, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Say it. to sit out here all day like a can of trash? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm coming, Mama. I just gotta get my purse and my coat. I'm, I'm leaving right now, dear. There's probably a ticket on the car. Well, yeah, it's all right, Mama. I'll get by because, hey, I'm okay and you're, you're okay. <laughs> you sound like you're about one step away from the booby hatch. <laughs> Don't you lay off of me for five minutes. I feel another fit coming on. Hey, hey, hey. It'll pass, it'll pass, it'll pass, it'll pass, it'll pass. I'm okay, I am okay. Uh, Mama, uh, before we go home, uh, we're going to stop by the Ajax Employment Agency because, hey, I'm going to get me a job. Well, hey, I'll believe that the day I see it, the day you actually follow through with anything. You'll never amount to nothing. When confronted with a foe, bless her, praise her, and let her go. and 80 shows and we had to come up with 280 finales and tonight we're going to show them to you <laughs> not not going to show all of them to you just uh, some of them and not all of some of them just some of some of them <laughs> i have an idea why don't we give our regards to i love her. Thank you. 
with you Dance 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 with you Hold that! It's all wrong, it doesn't have the pace you're supposed to be got Show it with your heartbeat Now pay attention Five, six, seven, eight
just the finale parts. I've got, uh, to do those every week, to be privileged to work with the people who thought them up and brought them about, I could never name everybody. They're all so wonderful. And tonight here in the audience, we've got a bunch of our singers who are on with us. Would you guys stand up, please? Take a bow. You gotta thank, thank, help me thank our witty and creative costume designer who not only designed everything you see, I saw on the screen as far as the production numbers goes, but he also designed every article of clothing we wore all 11 years that everybody wore. He designed over 50 costumes a week, created, helped create a lot of the looks. I wouldn't know who Eunice was if it weren't for him and a lot of other other uh, characters that we did. Please, uh, a big round of applause for Bob Mackey. You're a genius! How come he doesn't get any older? And also with us tonight is a very special gentleman who was able to make all of these things fly and work and be beautiful and he he worked everybody <laughs> to death and he even sometimes made it look like i could even dance <laughs> which is really a miracle the brilliant brilliant mr ernie flat Comes the time. 
This is Mark McEwen. And I'm Paula Zahn. Think you'll never save any money? Find out how you can pocket big bucks on the things you buy every day. Tomorrow on CBS This Morning.